everybody welcome back to the channel paint session for you today we're going to be doing zombie crawls so uh, if you're in any of that want to see some cool custom painting then stick around we're going to spray some paint <music> zombie crawl I've just got some uh, blue painter tape basically cut me a little pattern out that I use and uh, every one of these are a little bit different um, that's the beauty about custom work um, <clears throat> it's repeatable but there are some differences but first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take a clear bait we're gonna put our uh, zombie crawl pattern of choice on and just spray some white base coat that lure And this one's a little bit old and as they get too old they won't stick very good especially when you spray along the top this one's doing okay but it's probably only good for one more use so again a lot of times I'll use frisket paper and but occasionally I just use blue painters tape so about anything you want to use for a mask will work just fine so the color we're going to go with <clears throat> is canary yellow and we're just going to coat the entire bait we're not worried about this is just a good underlying color we're going to do quite a bit of shading and Involve some other colors, but we just want to throw a little bit of yellow on it. And... Stay fairly dark, just right, the, right there at the, uh, at the bottom of those crawl scales. So, <laughs> All right, we're going to come back with some, uh, some fluorescent orange. And just randomly highlight some areas of this crawl. I want the top pretty pretty uniform. You come in on the back sides of these. Just give us a little shading in there. But. For the next color, we're going to be uh, using Wicked Red Oxide. And what we're going to do on this is we're just going to we're going to shade in a pretty wide band around each one of these uh, crawl scallops, and uh, obviously a little bit around the eyes and the mouth. Next thing we're going to use our FX Texture Stencil Pack. Uh, this is the mini series from Art Tool. And we're going to use that 
Let me use that same color and add a little texture to our crawl. Black magenta. <clears throat> Very natural black color. I don't use it on all the crawl stencils because I do sometimes want to. Well, this brush has been acting up. It's got a clog. Okay, once again, we got black magenta. We're going to outline our crawl plates and just around the eye. I want to get in here kind of close and we're going to bring that up. Shading. Nothing straight on these baits. I like uh, the randomness of it. It's a zombie. Okay, so once we pull that off, that really gives us some separation between the, the crawl plates and the body. Now again, I like to leave it uh, clear on this particular pattern, but, uh, you know, we're going to come back in uh, on the belly with some candy yellow. nice look and on this particular one we're gonna uh, come in and scale the, uh, the bottom of the bait and some of the black magenta as well so to do that I'm just gonna use a uh, let's see if we can tilt our camera up here a little bit again with our black magenta We'll lay some segments in. Okay, so we got our zombie crawl finished up. Uh, everybody out there help me name this one. Um, most of the time when I do this type of crawl pattern, it's in my zombie line. If you go to www.greencountrybaits.com. Um, again, kind of a new pattern. A um, few different colors involved in this one. Uh, it's gonna be a great springtime 
pattern, I think. So, so leave a comment below. Tell me what you think we ought to name it. Again, want to thank all the subscribers. Um, appreciate you guys allowing us to grow and us to show you some content and uh, kind of my take on how we paint crate baits. So, um, till next week, Green Country Baits, signing out.